Hi, my name is Abel Nesparza, and today I will be analyzing the painting called St. Peter. The artist is not known, but what is given is that he was Mexican and from the 19th century. The dimensions were not given, and the media of this painting is oil on canvas. The lines in this picture are very soft. They're not very harsh. They show a lot of detail. There are a lot of curved lines, and there's one diagonal, which is where the key is right there and you could see the great detail in his hair and in his robe that he's wearing you could also even see the individual lines that make up the beard um, there is a lot of shading in the neck and it looks like chiaroscuro was used for his robe you can almost feel it on you it feels kind of silky so going back to the shadow scuro, you could really see the folds and the different shades of green that went into making this shawl that he's wearing. And you could see it in the fingertips too. You see the different variations of the skin color with the folds of the fingers. And in the face, you see that it gets lighter as it goes through the bald spot that he has. And you can even see the detail in the hair and in the eyes and in the eyebrows. Also in regards to the key, it is a diagonal. And if you follow the diagonal, it goes out of the picture and it goes towards him. So you could almost assume that the key is to something related outside of the picture and that it connects to him since it's pointing both ways. For this painting the shapes are organic since it is only a picture of St. Peter in the key so the shapes are organic and there is no mass to this painting because it is a painting but there is visual texture through the robe which is made by Chiaroscuro. This painting is asymmetrical since if you cut the picture in half starting from St. Peter's head down, it isn't completely the same thing on each side, but the key seems to balance out with St. Peter's body, so it gives the illusion of overall balance. The spacing of this painting is just St. Peter and the key and the rest is black, so there's not really anything to compare it to. But if you look closely, there appears to be a light on St. Peter, making St. Peter the focal point. And if you look at his face, he looks like he's unsure about something. And the key being a diagonal and his eyes following parallel to it shows that he's unsure about something since diagonals are a cue of unsteadiness, of movement. So he might be trying to decide on what to do. And along with that, there is an implied triangle starting from his head to that shoulder and to the hand that he has a key in. Um, this painting style is naturalistic since it is a human and a key in the painting. That is something that you see in everyday life, it's making the style naturalistic. The painting, like first you look at this painting, you're like, wow, like he's holding a key but you don't think about what the key means. And really the key is continuing Jesus' prophecy and going to spread religion to as many people as you can. And that could be extended into your own life. Like, you find the key to something, but what are you going to do to go out and play it forward? And that's what I got from this painting. First looking at it, I felt kind of in the dark as he is. But the more I looked at it, the more I figured out what the, what the artist, excuse me, what the artist was trying to communicate with us. And I think that's what all artists want to do is they want to convey a message to us and they want us to think critically and connect to the painting.